Video bites from youlearn.photography. Here's our principal, Simon Q. Walden. Hi, welcome to today's quick video tip. And I want to talk about humidity and moisture and how to protect your camera. Okay, the first most obvious attack of moisture is rain. And you know what? A very quick way, keep a clear plastic bag in your pocket and just wrap the plastic bag around your camera. Uh, if you're careful, you can even shoot through it as well, but, but you know, just wrap it just to keep it dry. If you're working in a more humid environment, somewhere where there's a lot of moisture in the air, in other words, um, keep it in the case and keep lots of those little silica gel packets in the case that you know, probably your camera and every other bit of electrical equipment you've ever been sent will have some of those in it. Just keep a bunch of those in the camera case and that'll help suck out the moisture. If it does get moist or you've been working in a, in a moist or humid environment, when it comes to drying it afterwards, you need to do this carefully. You need to keep it warm, but not hot. Um, the reason why you want to keep it warm is that if it cools down, it will cause the moisture in the air to condense into water actually on the camera itself, or worse, inside the camera. Um, so keep it bagged up, keep it warm. You can also bag it up with dried rice, and the, dry, the dried rice will also help suck some of the moisture out of the air too. But like I say, crucially, don't let it get cool, so don't walk it straight into an air-conditioned room, because that will condense the moisture onto the camera. Um, if you're doing the reverse, if you're leaving an air-conditioned space with a cold camera, um, then this will also cause condensation. Just think about a cold beer can taken out of the fridge, take it into a warm environment, moisture condenses on the outside. Uh, so same thing applies, is, is bring it up to more than room temperature. Try and bring it up slowly to exterior temperature if you can. What, there are two issues that you're worrying about here. One is you just generally don't want moisture in your camera, but you also particularly don't want fungus growing inside your camera, especially on the lenses. Um, really, once you've got fungus growing on the glass on a lens, your lens is probably shot. Um, and it's, it's less of a problem these days. In modern lenses, they seem to be better protected against fungal growth. But if you're buying second-hand lenses from uh, older cameras and just older lenses in general, that's always was and is the big worry is, is there fungus growing on the lens, growing inside the lens? Because that's all essentially impossible to clean and remove. Subscribe now for regular tips and updates. To find out more, go to youlearn.photography.